My stomach feels compressed. I'll be in the bathroom if you need me. Hey! What's up, my peoples? MGO here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Devil Savior Compressor! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Right up front here, we have Compressor in both of his modes. His name is Compressor. We got pyramids in the background, up top, Compressor, on the bottom, just things and stuff and stuff. On this side, Compressor. On the other side, Compressor. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. Combine the model, vehicle model, robot the model. And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Compressor, and this is the next component of Devil Savior's Troublemaker, their Revenge of the Fallen Devastator, and this is their take on Overload, and uh, yeah, um, so right off the bat, just want to say, um, this is my second copy of Compressor, um, I didn't break it, I didn't smash it, it wasn't me, I didn't, didn't no, it wasn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't smash it myself, um, it's because, uh, unfortunately, this figure suffers from a major flaw, and it broke on me and it took a while for me to get a replacement but I finally got a replacement um, I'll talk about the breakage and everything a little bit later and how to prevent that from happening but uh, yeah circumstances circumstances kept me from reviewing this like two months ago but it is what it is we have him now thankfully you know he's not gonna break on me now and uh, yeah but here he is in his vehicle mode, a big old thing that lugs big old things. That's a big basket for lugging things and baskets. It's a, it's a basket. It's a basket. You know, like it's a bicycle or something. It's got. A, it's got a basket. Anyway. Yeah, here he is in his vehicle mode, but let's get in closer here so we can take a look at the details. Again, you got some nice weathering on this figure. One thing I'll always compliment Devil Savior on with these figures is their paintwork. They like to, uh, they do a good job of making these figures look all, you know, dirty and, and weathered and grimy. Because, I mean, they're, you know, they're construction vehicles, so, yeah, they would be dirty and weathered and grimy. You know, have, you know, kicked in dirt in the, uh, tires and everything. So, yeah, they do a good job with the paintwork. You just got red for the rims here. You got some, some little robot mode details just kind of peeking out there. That's part of his chest. And you got all this detail right up in here. Down to the gunmetal gray with some greens. Looking quite cool. You got those double back tires here. And you got his claws sticking out the back. But it actually, it, it works. It works as far as the vehicle mode goes, I think. I think it works well. But yeah, there is... There is the top, there is the bottom, and he rolls, and not really as well as rolling things should. Like, these wheels don't like to hook up, you see they're just kind of spinning in place. You can't bring them down a little bit, but then it kind of knocks other things out of whack. Um, then, yeah, but then it raises this up too high. It's just, eh, it doesn't really, the rolling's not great. It's basically just this section likes to drag, so it kind of keeps other things from rolling. These back wheels are pretty tight, so they don't roll too freely. So, it eh, doesn't really roll as rolling things should, but, hey, it is what it is. And for comparison, here he is with the MPM Optimus Prime. Here he is with Studio Series Prime, in case anyone's curious about how that scale works out. And here he is with the Studio Series Overload, so you can see how that works out. And lastly, but not leastly, let's bring in the other Devil Savior Constructor Convoys here. Let's see if we can get a nice group shot going. Try my best, see what we can do here. Get them all together. And there you go. There we have our Constructicon team so far. So there you go. So that is basically it for the vehicle mode. And as always, a very nice looking vehicle mode with some nice detail going on, but 
Let's get down to transformation, shall we? <laughs> yes. You can get a pretty good spin out of him. Hey, hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. So, as always, we're gonna go into uh, combined mode first and then go into robot mode. So to get him into combined mode, first thing we want to do is we want to come under here. There's this little hook. Just want to undo, just bring that over like so and to undo these two halves here you want to undo this little clip it's kind of hard to get under there to undo it so really all you have to do is just grab the two sides give it a little wiggle wiggle and it'll pop up and you can flip this up um you want to take this uh smokestack here now this the instructions tell you specifically do not move this by this section grab it by the base so just untab it then just give it a little wiggle 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 over the side on the slider and then just bring it down so once you've done that, you can take this and just split it apart, like so, bring that out, and we can continue. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this section here. You want to kind of swing. These are his robot mode toes. You just swing this out and then just bring all of this up. You can come under here and flip out that combiner peg. You want to swing this around to the underside, and then you take the section here with the foot. This rotates around, and then this will tab in right here. Oops. Tab in that, and then this will tab up in here, like so. And is that it? I believe, oh no, then we have to uh, take this section here of the leg, slide it up with that. And there we go. Now we got that side all done. Second verse is just like the first. So just swing that out, bring that up, flip this out, swing this underneath, swing this around, bring that up, tab that in there, tab that in there. And then you can just shift this part up like so. There we go. So we're going to take a break and we're going to talk about the fatal flaw of this figure and what broke on me. Uh, what broke on me was his leg because the hip ratchets are way, 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 way too tight. And when I was transforming him, I was just turning his leg and his leg snapped right off because the ratchet was too tight. So, yeah, that's not a good thing. Not a good thing at all. I know some people say better too tight than too loose, but nope, too tight's not good either because too tight raises the risk of breakage. And this is a prime example of that. You have to find that sweet spot. Um, so luckily there is a way to prevent that. And that is some of this stuff. Super lube. Basically it's silicone oil. It's a lubricant and um, Basically what I did was I just undid these four screws here and then I just cracked his crotch open, basically. I cracked his crotch open enough to where I could see the ratchets in there and then I just, and I just, you know, squirted some lube in there. That sounded so wrong, but it's, there's no other way to say it. But yeah, just, just applied some of that lubricant into those ratchets, closed it back up, you know, worked the ratchets around to work the lubrication in, and now the hips. The hips are still stiff, but now they move a lot better, and now I'm not so scared of the legs just snapping off on me. And a lot of people have had this problem, apparently, so... Yeah, if you buy this figure, just know that there is a preventative measure you can take to keep his legs from snapping off. Just invest in a bottle of silicone oil. I got this off Amazon. I think it was like six bucks. So yeah. And it's great because it's a big bottle too. So I can use this for other things if I need it. So yay. But yeah. So there you go. There is your uh, public service announcement for how to keep compressors legs from snapping off on you because the ratchets are way too tight. Third party companies have a really bad habit of doing that. But oh, well, it is what it is. But anyway, let's continue on. So what we're going to do from here is we're going to take uh, this waist assembly here. There is a clip back here that holds it in place. So you want to undo this, bring that down, and the this uh, crotch assembly will shift back, and then this clip will come down and lock that in place right there. So now you're gonna bring this whole crotch assembly up. So all this is sitting at a 90 degree angle, like so, and then you're going to take the hips, and it's better if you, kind of bring the leg in a little bit so you have some torque and another just 
a, a kind of a tip here when you're moving the hips around don't grab it by here because that just puts more you know more torque on the joint itself grab it by the actual hip just get as close to the joint as possible and that will also keep things from you know stressing so just rotate the legs around like so and just bring the other one around see that moves a lot easier now and there you go and these toes here are supposed to be spread out like that and there you go so you got that section all done so now we'll move on to the upper section here and get this all situated so you want to take these sections here these will pop out these will pop out like so and then you want to take these bits here, undo these, and you want to take all this and just, oh, like before you do that, you want to untab this section here and bring this down. And once you've done that, now we can take this, just bring it down like one click for now. And what we're going to do here is we're going to take these arms and these are going to swing out and come up, you see there's a little tab in the slot right up in there, so bring that up, like that. And you want these up like so. Same thing on the other side, just swing that out. And just tab that into place, like that. And there you go. So once you've done that, you want to take all this, just bring this down. And you got these two tabs right here, which will go into these slots right in here. So just bring that down, get it all lined up, make sure stuff is out of your way. And just get that all tabbed in, all nice and snug like. And there we go. Just get that nice, nice and as squozen as you can get right there. And once we have done that, you have these bits right here that will plug into these two screw holes. And these are not the easiest thing to get in. This is the one part that kind of fights you, but it's doable. You just get it. There we go. That one went in. And well, you can do it. You can do it. There we go. I'll just pop right in there like that. So you go. We're at the home stretch here. So once we've done that, you want to come here. These little sections, these little sections here will pop up. Rotate back, come up. You want to rotate these out to the side. Same thing here, just pop that up. Rotate that back, bring this up to the side. Angle that back a little bit. And you just want those hanging out right there. Now you want these arms here, you want to rotate them and just collapse them down. They'll just sit right in here. Bring that up, rotate, and just collapse those claws right down into here. And then this big little claw section just tucks right in there as well. Make sure everything stays where it's supposed to. And just bring these out. These sections here, this is for robot mode transformation. I don't know if this is supposed to be for combined mode also, but you can kind of collapse those in if you want to. And these sections also should come out like that. And the wheels, these front wheels here, can shift down. It seems like the instructions don't seem super specific about if they're supposed to come all the way back or just kind of halfway. But, you know, we can adjust those as needed when we actually combine all this stuff, so... We'll just leave it like that for now. But, uh... Yeah, there you go. There you have... Compressor in his combine mode. And this is gonna be the, uh, the lower body of Devastator, and the legs will connect right there and um yeah i mean it looks like a lot of nothing but when we get it all put together it'll look like something but right now it just looks like a whole lot of nothing it's just a, a thing it's just a thing of stuff right now i mean that's pretty much devastator in a nutshell just a thing of stuff <laughs> but 
<laughs> it'll make a, it'll make more sense once it's all combined. A little more sense when it's all combined. But yeah, there he is. There he is in his combined mode. So yeah, that is basically it for the combined mode. So let's get down to transformation again, shall we? <laughs> That's a spinning crotch right there. So what we need to do now is just kind of move all this stuff out of our way, break these claws up, and all that stuff. Uh, we need to undo these clips, and these clips are not easy to get back out once you've gotten them clipped in. So I just I just use my screwdriver here and just I just get up I just get up under there, I get up all under there, and just just pop them out. Boop, there we go. Makes life a lot easier. Just pop those up like so. And then we can undo this and bring all this up and we'll just leave that alone for now and we will work on his legs so just bring all this down and we're going to bring the legs forward and bring them down bring the legs forward and bring them down bring that one more click there so what we're going to do here is we're going to untab this untab this and we're going to close this back up and rotate all this back around you want to turn the foot sideways and rotate it like that let's get that out of the way uh, you want to bring this out to the side and you can flip this back in you want to take this whole upper assembly here. You want to pull this little panel out because there's a tab that goes in this. So pull that out and then you can swing. Oh, oops. I didn't break that. Just this, this is the part that just pegs in. It's packed separately. It didn't break. It just untabbed. That's all. Or unpegged rather. Just take this whole panel right here and this will swing around to the back like so. And then you want to undo this clip because that frees up his knee joint. Bring up his little knee spike and then flip up this panel. Then the foot will just come down and around and just tab in right there, like so. And then you just bring these out. And then you just take this section here, turn it around, and this gives him some extra heel support. And there you have a leg all done. Second boss is pretty much just like the fast, so. Undo this, undo that, bring that in, flip that around, turn, twist, and bring that out, flip that down, pull this out so you can swing all this around to the back, swing this around, plug it in, plug it in, bring out those, those, and undo that clip. Flip up the spike, flip up the panel, twist this around, and there you go. There you have his legs all done, and now we move on to the upper body. There's a lot going on up here. Look, what's, what, what is this? What's happening here? What's happening? I don't know. I don't know. You tell me. Whole lot of, whole, whole lot of nothingness. Whole lot of weird nothingness going on here. But anyway. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to... Just bring these sections down and around for now. Just kind of get things out of the way. Like that. And helps if you bring this up. Another click or so. Make sure these are out of the way. And then you just want to split the arms. There's a little uh little T-tab that goes in there. Don't know how you can see it, but you're just going to, basically you're just sliding one side up and sliding one side down. So just kind of angle them, basically just kind of angle the top part in, just go in like that. And then you can just slide your arm out like that. And once you do that, you can, oh, actually before we bring the arms down, we have to bring down his chest because then that will give us the clearance. So take the chest piece and bring that down. That will get out of the way of the arms. And now we can take the arms and rotate them and bring them down. And we can get out of the way, rotate, bring them down. And there we go. 
So now we're going somewhere. Now, now, now we's going somewhere. You stand. You stand. There we go. So now let's work on the armage here. So to get the arm situated, what we're going to do is we're going to take this section here, take these arms, swing them around. This little part of the arm right here gets flipped down like so. This side comes up and that will tab in there. That gives him his extra little creepy arm. And then you just rotate this in. This section just comes down and behind that elbow there. You just can rotate and you can open up the claws. And then you take the wheel here and this will just rotate to the back like that. And then we come back up here to the shoulder and this will just flip all the way around. You can see that reveals some more detail in there. And there you have an arm all done. Second verse is just like the first. So again, just swing these creepy little arms around to the forefront. Bring that panel down like so. We can bring this forward now like that. And then we can just tab that in, get that all situated, get it all creepy and get that all done. Now we just bring that forward, that just tucks in back there, and then we come, open up that claw, swing that wheel to the back, and we are pretty much at the home stretch here. He looks so creepy already, he doesn't even need a head, he's just creepy as it is, but yeah, get that chest panel out of the way, flip his head up. And close the chest back up. These little side panels just flip out. Like so. And the last thing, actually two more things we need to do. Just take this, bring this up over his head. And these wheels will just untab and swing to the back. And get out of the way. And I think we're done. Are we done? Yes, we're done. I believe we're done. I don't think I forgot now. And these little panels here are just gonna compress those down like so just to give his back a little more shape and i i believe we're done i think we're done are we done i think we're done i'm calling it done whether i'm done or not <laughs> but there you go there you have compressor in his robot mode and he looks good you know i really dig his design he's just a creepy four-armed monster man of murder and i i honestly i dig it i can work with this i can work with this but let's get in closer here so we can take a look at that noggin oh dear god what a noggin what a noggin that is but nicely done head sculpt get some nice details in there picked out in a nice gunmetal gray um he does have eyes molded in but they're not painted but all in all though still a good looking head sculpt kind of looks like a skull really that's just oh very cool very cool get some nice details there in the chest lots of detail going on like in the shoulder pieces there just creepy creepy claws and whatnot but overall very cool design in my opinion he's got some big beefy legs Here's your toesies more of the back i mean it's 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 pretty clean for what it is it's you know i, I think it's clean as far as a as far as a movie constructicon goes i think it's a pretty clean transformation all in all oh no not too shabby not too shabby now Articulation wise, uh, the head is on a ball joint. I can't tell. Um, I think it is on a ball joint, but not too much wiggly waggly. But you do have a little bit of up and down. You can rotate. Of course, you have this big, you know, claw up here, which has a hinge here, hinge there. You also have a hinge there that can move as well. Um, as far as the arms go, the arms can rotate. You can do a full 360, just have to make sure you're kind of clear of stuff. You can move in and out at that joint right there. Um, he has this elbow. 
He has a couple elbows. You have this elbow right here, which can bend in and out. It can also rotate. The claws can open and close. You have this arm right here, which has its own shoulder, I guess, basically. That can rotate as well. Uh, you have rotation here. You have a joint here. You have rotation here. You have joints here, as well as here for the claws. They do move independently of one another. Um, as far as the waist goes, he doesn't have any waist rotation um, due to transformation. He does have an ab crunch. Uh, the hips can move, of course, forward and back. Oops, what was that? Oops, that popped off. That's new. Oh, it just popped off, okay. <laughs> it's just a friction hinge. First time that's happened. That's new, well, that's new. Anyway, um, but yes, you have the hip ratchets, which are very tight. Something else. Why? Why is everything popping off now? What is this? Jeez, <laughs> I got tanks. These little tanks or whatever they are popping off. This has never happened. You know why? Because the camera's on. When the camera's on, everything goes wrong. This is what happens. This is my life. This is my life. But anyway, legs can rotate. They can't move in and out. On those ratchets, you don't have any uh, rotation. You do have a knee joint here. You get 90 degrees of bend. And the feet, as long as they stay in, um, you just have rotation and you do have your ankle tilted and you can splay these toes out if you want to. So there you have that. And now for comparison, here he is with the uh, Studio Series Prime with the MPM Prime. It's my knockoff version, but it's the same figure with MPM Bumblebee with Studio Series Megs with MPM Megs again my uh, knockoff version here he is with the TF Dream Factory Revenge of the Fallen Megatron which I personally think looks great with these guys here he is with the Studio Series Overload. You can see how that works out. And lastly, but not leastly, let's bring in the rest of the team that we have so far anyway. How am I going to do this? I don't know. I don't know, but we're going to try. We're going to try. <laughs> bring in Long Haul. Mixmaster, somebody's gonna get covered up. Those stupid guns on his legs always fall off because they're stupid and they don't stay on. He's the worst one. He's just the worst one of the set. But anyway, let's try to get him situated in some way here. But yeah, he's, he's just gonna get covered up. But there you have the team so far. So there you go. So there you have Compressor, and I'm going to say something that I never thought I would say about a Devil Savior figure. I actually like this one. I know, crazy! I actually like this one. This one actually works. Um, the transformation was not a nightmare. It was not frustrating. It actually works fairly well. Um, the one major fatal flaw of this figure is just the hip ratchets being way too tight and being prone to breakage. But luckily there is a preventative measure you can take by just, you know, lubricating them up. And, you know, that will definitely solve the problem. But it still sucks though. That's still an issue that they need to work on. And a lot of third party companies need to work on this, you know, make the ratchets tight enough to where it'll support the weight it's supposed to support. But at the same time, don't make it so tight that you up the risk of breakage. You have to find that sweet spot and third party companies for some reason have a problem finding that sweet spot with the ratchet tension. But it is what it is. Luckily, you know, there's something you can do about it to keep the figure from breaking, but other than that, overall, I, I actually quite dig this guy. I like him. I actually like a Devil Savior figure. Who'd have thunk? But I like it. <laughs> so, hey, I'll, I'll take any little victories I can get. So, there 
there you go. Now I picked this up from Show Z Store. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. For all your other Transformers needs, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. You can also check out the Troublemaker playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Love Peace Paranormal. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Devil Savior Compressor. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Palm in your face. Hey, Overload, I bet with all those hands you're really good at multitasking, huh? Yeah, no, that's actually not the case at all. I'm always poking something, stabbing something, crushing something by accident. These are really quite useless for everyday practical purposes. You should see me when I come out of the bathroom. It's like a massacre happened. Oh, well, that's... That's unfortunate. Sucks to be you. Yeah. Yeah, it does.